Hey everyone, this is Mir Hafizullah from Capital Afghanistan and you're watching Trucker Josh or TJV on YouTube. Good Saturday morning, family, friends, and colleagues. It's Saturday morning, and we're we're we're, we're at work. <laughs> it's not that bad. I have two loads from Thief River to pick up today. It's gonna take all day. It'll be about a twelve-hour day, probably in the six hours each one. We'll see. Uh, but let's get it done. First thing this morning, I got to work. We're getting a little bit of a late start because I had a slight exhaust leak. By slight, I mean straight pipes. Under the truck, there's a flex pipe. I'll show you. Let me just stretch you guys out here for a second so I can show you. All right, hold on now. I'm gonna stick you underneath there. Right there. That flex pipe was no longer flexible and it broke right off and I just had a straight pipe hang in there. Sounded awesome. But it wasn't legal, so we had to fix it. Problems, problems, problems. But life is not about the problems. It's about the solution to the problems. Good thing we got mechanics on site here that were able to lickety split, get that fixed. Wasn't uh, that hard by the looks of it, but he was under there tinkering and saying things about the truck. <laughs> Piece of junk, piece of junk, come on. But I think that's just standard when you're fixing something. Cause I say the same thing when I'm trying to fix something. I'm always yelling at whatever I'm trying to fix until it's fixed and then I'm happy. Welcome to America. The United States, right there. There's my proof. Welcome to Minnesota. My next proof is the speed limit sign. It's in miles an hour instead of kilometers an hour. It doesn't specify that. So if you didn't know that America was miles an hour, you'd get here and you'd think the speed limit was 60 kilometers an hour all the way down this highway, which is like 38 miles an hour. <laughs> Good thing we know better. 60 miles an hour is about 100 kilometers an hour. Good thing that's where my truck is limited at, so I just give her pedal to the metal, hit the cruise. Off to the races. I'm not even able to speed because there's not enough of a downhill anywhere on this road to even push me over the speed limit. The only places I have the capability of speeding is through the towns, and we don't do that. They don't like that. I'm a guest here, I don't want to start any trouble. It's like going to visit your brother's house, but your brother has very strict rules. You do not sit in his chair. You do not touch his remote. You stay in your lane. You do not take food out of the refrigerator. You don't bring your own food into his house either. There's a lot of rules at our brother's house, but yeah, they're our family, so we love them. We have the same rules when they come visit our house. Look at the green grass in Thief River Falls, Minnesota. Look at this. Literally 200 kilometers south of where I live. Green grass, they probably cut the grass already. That means it's coming soon. Next week will probably be green up, at, up in Manitoba as well. Hope so anyway. Coming down here really makes me want to go trucking across the U.S. again every time. And I gotta keep reminding myself, it'll come. We're gonna get back in a truck yet. I'm not gonna buy the one I went to go look at last week. Uh, wasn't the right fit yet. I'm looking for a specific, specific truck to me. It's gotta be the right one for me. I'll know it when I find it. When I find it, there will be nothing that will stand in my way. I will move heaven and earth to get that truck. 
Just don't tell the seller that, okay? It's gotta be the right truck. The price has also gotta be right, but most importantly, it's gotta be the exact one I'm looking for. Maybe it'll happen this year. Maybe it'll happen next year. Maybe it'll be in a couple of years. We're still building a house soon. And we still got this IVF we're going through right now. We got a couple of more updates on that. Maybe we can update you at home when I'm with Britt. But you know me, I'm a dreamer and I'm an impatient dreamer. I don't like leaving dreams in dreamland. They don't belong there. They belong here in reality. We live in land of opportunity and I want to take that opportunity to chase those dreams. I'll get it there. I'll get there. But I, I also got other things to think of. I got a family and I got to make sure that everything is taken care of and that, you know, the important things are taken care of. Then we go and start building the dream truck. So like I said, might be this year, might be next year, maybe I'll surprise you. Maybe it's already happened, I don't know. So we're in Minnesota here, about to cross over into North Dakota. We gotta cross over the Red River. And look how high the river is. This is not, this is not river yet. We're not at the river yet. It's a little moist around here. A little wet. This is still not the river. Look at that. All of this water is headed up through Manitoba to Lake Winnipeg and then into the Hudson's Bay. That's not the river yet. We're still not at the river, the river's that way. Look at these farmers here, they had to sandbag it looks like oh man yeah looks like they built a dike around their home oh we're just on the side of the road there anybody want to go fishing just got to figure out who which farmer owns this field Let's see if we can get uh, get some fishing in today on this field The river is coming up here. Up north in Canada, just right over there in Manitoba, the road is actually closed up there. I'm gonna have to take a detour. They actually blocked off the road in the town of Morris. They built the dike right over the road. So the, the town is just isolated right now. Look at these guys. They can't get to their house. They park their vehicles here. Their farm is way out there. Their one garage is underwater. Oh, yikes. You live right on the Red River. Here it is, this is the river. No, this isn't the river yet, it's coming. Past these trees, that's where the river is. That's the river. And the river banks are right there where the trees are. This is not river. Well, it is now. This whole town is protected by that dike that you saw there. And there's another dike here. It goes around this farm here. You see this big hill here? That's the dike keeping the water out of the town. Otherwise the town would be flooded right now. Pretty crazy, eh? There's the interstate right there going up to Canada. We're just
just a mile, a mile from the border. This is duty free here. People in this town must be a little nervous. Yikes. Well, all the towns up along the Red River right now. Whoop, can't find them, grind them. I won't tell if you don't. Yeah, all this water. It's like we're going out to sea. All vehicles use left lane. Okay. I'm guessing the right lane must be closed up here. So those bushes over there, on the other side of those trees, that's where the river is and it's spilled out all the way over here, all the way way out there. That's why they call it the Red River Flood Basin. This guy's really not gonna step on it, is he? I could have gotten in front of him, but I find that to be kind of rude, cutting in front of someone right before the border. Really wish he'd step on it though. I got another load to do today yet. those barriers there to keep the water off the highway. Pretty crazy, eh? But I think the water started going down, so... What? What's this say? All trucks, commercial vehicles, next right closed? Is the border closed? I've never seen it closed before. Maybe it's just those lanes are closed. I'm just following this guy. They wouldn't close commercial traffic. Huh. I've got to put you guys down here though. I got to talk to the good people here and I'll uh, let you know what happened on the other side when I get there. I might need to take a boat or a ferry, I don't know. They got our lanes there closed off. I guess they were underwater before. So that's, that must be a good sign then. Then it's not underwater anymore. So they'll probably reopen them soon. We're here on the Canadian side. We just turned east onto Highway 201. Just on the Canadian side of the border, run parallel to the border, headed east. I've got to take this detour because Highway 75 is closed. And look how close the water is coming up here to the road already, eh? This is the Red River up here that uh, the bridge is going over on the Canadian side. So it's pretty high. It's really, you gotta even, oh no, this is the Murray River, pardon me. The Red River is still coming. So this must be like another little river that leads, that like drains into the Red River. Red River's up there, pardon me. I don't take this road very often. This is the only way I can uh, get back right now uh, with a loaded semi, as far as I know. This was the road I was told to take, so this is the road I take. So the U.S. border is about uh, four or five miles this way, right there. And we just crossed over the Red River there, right? Now we're going to cross over the Red River again on the Canadian side. And remember, all the water is flowing this way. It's all going north to the Hudson's Bay, well, Lake Winnipeg, and then drains into the Hudson's Bay. It's very windy out here. You can definitely tell that the truck is uh, pulling hard. I've got a brick wall behind me in the wind, big billboard.
this is the Red River, I believe. This next bridge we're coming up to here. And usually we don't flood like this in the spring, but every now and then, uh, like I said all the other day, the, the water all the way from the Rockies out west and all the way from the US, it all drains up through here. This is the Red River, yeah. It's all going that way. Gotta slow down here, 70 kilometers an hour. This is a First Nation. This is a uh, Rosa River reserve first nation reserve or aboriginal reserve indian reserve indigenous reserve uh, whichever uh description you like to use their own police service right there. There's the bingo hall. That's a staple of the reserves. <laughs> Am I right? They love their bingo and their uh, casinos. And that's it. Now we're back in the Franklin municipality. Off to res. Look at all this water here. Man, they must have a dike around the res there. Because the, the res wasn't flooded. But look at this, all this water is all around them. Thanks. Not as much that way though, but... Probably some good fishing out there. Round two coming up. I've got a empty step behind me. four o'clock we're headed back down a quarter after four so I'll probably be back here around 10 o'clock tonight which is unfortunate because it's a beautiful Saturday I'd love to be out on the motorcycle but you know what I'd rather be doing than motorcycling trucking I have a problem I have a problem I'm addicted I love trucking next weekend though next weekend we're getting the motorcycle out I got to bring it over to the shop we're gonna take down that whole uh, thing in our yard this week or this summer. Get that moved up. So we got some work to do. Twenty-three degrees Celsius. It is cooking. It's beautiful. Look at the green grass. We are getting green grass. That's new. That just came in today. Nice. What's up, horse? You the man? Round two, Thief River Falls. I'm gonna stop at Subway in St. Pierre though. I need a sandwich, I'm hungry.
the hole. Don't look at that. Behold. Green grass is sprouting. Sort of. Need to work on it a little bit, but it's still super soggy. It's been a wet spring. But that's what it is. So got some Saturday work in there and uh, there won't be a video coming on Monday. There'll be a video Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So thanks for watching everybody. I will see you on Tuesday.